Hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to cover lab number four for using uh, ANSYS uh, workbench to do fatigue analysis. So as you can see from the drawing, you have a connecting rod and you have a force acting force vertical at the end to the right end and it is fixed support in the, in the left end. Uh, we will try to also to compare the analysis with a static analysis and for 400 Newton and also we'll repeat the work for 600 Newton. So mainly as we'll do the analysis, static analysis and fatigue analysis and compare between the two results at two different loading conditions, 400 Newton and 600 Newton. So let's go and start uh, ANSYS workbench. Uh, from ANSYS workbench, from the toolbox, I'm going to go to static structure, click on it, drag it, and drop it in the screen. Now I have the structure, uh, static structure, I have it, so we're going to name here, change the name to be uh, 400 loading. Sorry. Now the engineering data, it is already selected. The default at ANSYS is steel structure, but you can change the, 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 the material uh, to any type of the prop, aluminum. You have the, yeah, the ANSYS has a wealth of engineering data, so you can change that. We'll go to geometry, so right click, Import geometry, browse. We're gonna look for the geometry. So we need to have here it is okay. Now the geometry was imported. You have a check mark, means it's okay. Now we need to go to the model. Once mo the model is downloaded, we would like to go to first. We're gonna start with the mesh. I believe everything has a check mark, so everything looks fine. So we're going to go to the mesh and for sizing we're going to use fine meshing fine okay and apply mesh apply or generate mesh now let's go to the static structure I'm going to right click, insert, I'm going to start with the fixed support first, fixed support, now I'm going to rotate this one so I can see the, the other side, so I'm going to highlight this surface, control, and highlight the other surface, apply, we have two faces, enter, Okay, so we have two faces here. Now let's do another boundary condition. Insert a force, and the force will be in this side here. In the right side, I'm going to say apply, and it is in the Z direction. So I'm going to start with the Z vertical, so it's going to be the positive. Okay, so it's going to be uh, the first, uh, instead of a ver uh, vector, we're going to use component and in the Z direction, we're going to say minus 400, just to make it vertical. And so now we put a 400 here, so now let's make a, sure, here is a fixed support on the side and you click on the force, this is the force that's done. Now we go to the solution part. As you can see, here is a mesh. Okay, the solution part. Right click, insert, stress, maximum one misses stress. Go to solution again, insert, 
stress tool and we're gonna put maximum tensile and under that you get the safety factor. So we, need, we are looking for the maximum stress and safety factor. Now if we go to solution again, we're gonna insert and then we're gonna get the fatigue tools. Okay, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the calculation for stress analysis, equivalent, this is a static uh, force and safety factor under static loading and then we're going to do the fatigue also like and then we get the life of the fatigue the part and also insert the safety factor okay there are more advanced topics under fatigue loading we'll cover it in the in the next lab for fatigue loading analysis uh, just in this lab we'll concentrate on some basics about difference between static loading and fatigue loading and so on now under fatigue tool we're going to make sure that here the analysis type is a stress life which is clearly good so at the same time you have a stress or a strain we're going to choose a stress because we are looking for the number of cycle the theory for fatigue analysis we're going to we have four theory SN Goodman uh, Soderberg Gerber and SME so we're going to choose Goodman. So I'm going to choose Goodman, which is the green one, and then the rest, and the stress component based on von Mises uh, stress comp function. Uh, what else? Okay, now we need to go to the material and engineering data. We're going to click on it, and under the SN curve, you're going to have these three items. So instead of log log relationship, we're going to make it a semi log semi log okay now we're gonna close the the material and we're gonna go to uh, back again to the <clears throat> the analysis here so now we're gonna run the the, the solution so we'll click on the solution and see okay oh that's great okay so now as you can see the solution here give me a maximum strength how many okay by the way for the units if it's not in megapascal all what you need to do you go to the units here and you choose row number three number three will give you the units in mega uh, in megapascal it's a metric units okay uh, the units will be in uh, millimeter kilogram newton and so on so now for this solution as you can see so this is a maximum stress and this is the safety factor. As you can see, the safety factor is 3.29, which is about 3.3. .3. But for the fatigue life, when I see, uh, okay, the, the, the part, as you can see, the part looks like it is safe. It means it will sustain up to 1 million, above 1 million of cycle, which is, should be good. Uh, because really, actually, because the stress is the highest stress is, is still under the endurance limit. Or <clears throat> So now... Let's go to the safety factor. As you can see, it's still above one. So this is why we see number of cycles still above one million. Okay, now now we're gonna repeat the, the whole solution again for 600 Newton. So, so you see a big difference between the safety factor under fatigue, it's almost 1.1, and under, under static loading, it is 3.3, .3, almost three times, okay. Now let's go to the, uh, I'm going to just reduce this one. I'm going to take this uh, right click. I'm going to say duplicate. So we have the same thing, data, material, same material, geometry will be the same, but I will go to the model. Okay, I will come to the the force, and instead the force value here is 400. I'm going to change it to 600, and see what the results will be. 600. <clears throat> now we're going to run the solution again. Solve. And see what we will get. Uh, 
Oh, let me make sure that, yeah, it's still, it, it maintained the same data. Okay, good. So now we're going to see the equivalent stress. In static, it is 113. And the safety factor is 2.19. Okay. Uh, so it's almost like 2.2. But in the safety factor for under fatigue loading is is less than one. It means that it means that you are expecting the material to fail after a certain number of cycle. So the life it will give you here after two hundred eleven thousand cycle, the the material will fail. This is what it means here. So the safety factor is less than one. So it means that we need to modify the loading condition or modify the parts to sustain this type of loading and also we can show that the, how is this animated under the loading condition thanks for watching i would like to hear your feedback and if you like the video please Subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.